You have to forgive my mood today. I didn't sleep very well last night on that bus. Coming to you live from the Taj Mahal. Not a waste of, not a waste of time. It's been an experience, but what's the point? Sorry, I've been in, it's been in India for too long. <laughs> I'm not even thinking about women. Okay, come on. Okay. No, not, no, not in that way. And we've arrived in Agra. I actually wasn't going to do any filming at all today because I am knackered. It took us 18 hours to get here on the bus. It was, it was not the most fun bus ride we've ever had. But we've just come across this cafe and it's a, it's a pretty cool cafe. They run it with like um, differently abled people, so like disabled people can have a job in here and you have to sort of, uh, there's a sign on the, on the wall basically that says this cafe is managed along with differently abled staff. Can you please help us with the initiative? Thank you. And they've got like all sign language signs on the wall there. It's, uh, that's, that's awesome. It's quite a special place. And it's only around the corner from our accommodation, which I haven't shown you yet, obviously, because you've just clicked on this video. But I will show you that after, straight after this. It's a really good spot, and it's really quite affordable as well. Look at it, it's like a proper, proper little cafe. We haven't seen one of these in ages, where we've been in the, in the desert. They've actually just come over and given us an uh, Agra, it's an Agra traditional dessert, right? Since Mughals. Since Mughals. Okay, since Mughals, uh, and it's called Peta. 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 It's like a fruit, really sweet apparently, and it cools down your stomach. That's why they eat it here, to cool you down. If you eat this and drink up some water, it cools down your stomach. So I'm going to try it. I like that. Well, it's not too sweet, I wouldn't say. Not compared to most of the drinks we get out here. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a jelly. You said it's like pumpkin. Oh, it's like white it's pumpkin. Like Mm. It's cool. The place is called Bread of Mine. Mine, M I N E. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, the, the cafe is actually called Bread and Mime. So, yeah, the food's good. I, I, I didn't even take a picture of the pizza. It would look banging, but she's eating most of it now. And I don't know where my food is. Yeah, it's a bit creepy in here actually, it's a bit like post-apocalyptic post when you look up. Surprised that there are actually still some shops even operating in here, you'd think they'd just close the whole thing down, but that's the cafe. They've closed obviously down the f top three floors, there's absolutely nothing going on up there. And then you've just got, I don't know, maybe six shops down here in this whole shopping centre that are open. Look at these floors up here, that's all abandoned. All the top floors are abandoned, and in fact there's a load of empty shops as well. Wonder if it's anything to do with the old kindred times. Weird, it's like something off Jurassic Park. So here we are, this is the accommodation. And this is actually a homestay. I think this is the first homestay we've stayed in in India. And I'm actually really impressed with it. I, I like it here a lot. It's got a real homey feel to it. It's just a family home and they rent out all the extra rooms. It's a really nice place actually, a really nice house. It's really close to the Taj Mahal as well, which is why we, we've booked it. We've got two nights here with breakfast included for 2,000 rupees a night. If you want to have dinner with the family here, you can do that for 500 rupees per person, which is just the same as what we would spend in a restaurant anyway. So I'm quite looking forward to that. The air conditioning works perfectly. It's got a nice waterfall shower with good pressure. It's a good, good amount of space in here. The bed is comfortable. Everything is perfect. It's a, it's a great spot. It's a great spot. I, I was a little bit worried when we first got here because the tuk-tuk driver was saying, oh, that's a bit of a bad spot. It's expensive and all that. but. We, st we stuck with it anyway, and I'm glad we did. It's a good spot. 1,000. Yeah, really. Yeah. Why are you doing it so cheap for us? So the tuk-tuk driver that picked us up from the bus stand earlier basically said to us he'll take us around a couple of spots this evening in the tuk-tuk for 400 rupees. Sounds like a great deal doesn't it? Basically what, what the deal is, he takes you to a couple of spots and he keeps talking, to, he's, he's really slowly trying to talk us into getting some uh, fancy dress wear for going to the Taj Mahal tomorrow. So the, the deal is he does a cheap tuk-tuk ride, 
takes you to a couple of spots then he takes you to the town center where he'll take you to one of his mate's shops and he'll get commission on anything you buy so just be aware of that it's not it's not dangerous or anything it's it's all good it's quite a clever little uh, way of getting money to be honest what we're going to do today is an example of how you can basically take advantage of the cheap price without going is we're going to see the spots then he's going to say let's go to the town center i'm going to say no we haven't got time that's all you have to do if you don't want to unless you want to get the dress wear but they 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 know you're a tourist they know you don't know what you're talking about they, they take you somewhere and they'll bump the price up a heap so you've got to be careful of that if you do want the dress wear make sure you get a couple of quotes and make sure they're not ripping you off because it, it would be quite fun to get the dress wear we just haven't got time now so yeah we find ourselves at the baby taj first place he recommended us to come getting in here is about 310 rupees per person unless you do it online and it's 260 per person but their website is absolutely terrible so you're better off just coming here and just suffering the 50 rupees but yeah it's, it's basically a big tomb not sure anything else behind it natalia is the one who read the blurb so i don't know we'll have to ask her This place here, the reason it's so special is because it's the first tomb made of entirely white marble. It's made of nothing but white marble. It's quite special. It's the draft of the Taj Mahal. And it's the draft of the Taj Mahal, which we're going to see tomorrow. This was made in 1622. And it took only six years to build. And it only took six years to build. And it only takes five minutes to walk around. You have to forgive my mood today. I didn't sleep very well last night on that bus and I've kind of, we kind of just been ush ushered into this and I'm being really ratty all day. Aww. 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 At least they're not giving us the finger. Cute boys. Cute boys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Would I recommend to come here? Probably not. That's pricey for what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Three quid each. <laughs> I <laughs> know, <laughs> but at least I'd want the cup of coffee. Yeah. But you know what you say sometimes. Oh yeah. Know. Sometimes you want to go somewhere, but you don't know that you don't want to be there till you get there. So sometimes you got to go where you don't want to be just to find out that's not where you want to be. Don't I? Look at it. I, now I think about it. What's the point? I'm gonna go see the real Taj Mahal tomorrow. If you've been to the actual Taj Mahal, I wouldn't even... Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I always like to be honest with you. Say it how I see it. Welcome to the world through my eyes. Enjoy it. Enjoy your stay. Across the river, behind it, is a sunset spot to watch the sunset behind the Taj Mahal. You've got to pay 300 rupees each to get in here as a foreigner. Indians, I don't know how much you've got to pay, it's very little. Um, yeah, you basically walk through these gardens here and you can see the Taj Mahal. Like, now I see this, I can just see how insignificant that thing is we just went to. Look how big it is. Actually, to be honest, I think it looked bigger in the photos. I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be wider. Yeah, but look at how small the people are standing outside it. Yeah. There are a lot of people trying to sell you things here. The tuk-tuk driver, this ain't me saying it, right? The tuk-tuk driver said, don't buy anything from the people there on this side of the river in this area and outside the Taj Mahal because they bump the prices up like crazy and they're real poor quality stuff. 
So don't buy anything there. If you need water, make sure you get it before you come here. I didn't actually even ask how much it is, but that's what the tuk-tuk driver said, so, it's, so it must be true. <laughs> I just noticed something very uh, detrimental to this sunset behind the Taj Mahal. The sun is there. Early. The sun sets at 7.30, it's 5 o'clock. Why are we here now then? I don't know. He said 4. Pick us up and we'll be here on time. Yeah. Sunsets at 7.30. Alright, I don't believe anything the tuk-tuk driver says. He's a <laughs> fucking liar. I might just go and buy some souvenirs <laughs> just to prove a point. <laughs> he's, he's spinning a web of lies. Do you know what I particularly like about the Taj Mahal? Taj Mahal. What I particularly like about the Taj Mahal is the symmetry. It is perfectly symmetrical, correct? Except for the tomb. Except for the tomb. His tomb rests uh, next to hers, which is the only unsymmetrical thing of the whole structure. The only discrepancy to the symmetry is the tombs. Are the tombs. Well, it's the, the tomb of the man who built it. The tomb of the man who built it. He and built his, it for his favourite wife. He built it for his favourite wife. Imagine, imagine having a favourite. Yeah. <sighs> That'd be alright, wouldn't it? She obviously put out the most. <laughs> Coming to you live from the Taj Mahal. We have reports that it took 20,000 dedicated workers to build this very structure. It took 22 years to complete and it costs something like 28. No, 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 no. <laughs> we can't have something like. We need it to cost, be. Okay, it costs. Wait, are you ready? Yeah. Right, she, she's remembering that. She's remembering now. Put it away, put it away. It took 32 million rupees to build this. I don't know if that's now or back then. It's quite expensive. That is quite expensive. Quite, quite impressive. Now, is this building made of 100% white marble? Yes. Right. Wasn't the other one just a tomb? It was the tomb, not the building. There was a Taj Mahal replica. It was a type. prototype of the Taj Mahal. Right. It's a very, it's a very nice looking building. It's cool. But there's so many crows around, and crows just remind me of death. Well, there is a tomb in there of a man. And a woman. And a woman. Yes. Sorry, I've been in, it, been in India for too long. <laughs> I know you're thinking about women. Okay. No, I'm not. No, not in that way. I'm not even thinking of women on the. I'm not even thinking of women as being on the same level anymore. Dad's leaving India as a homosexual. Listen, listen, female, stay behind me. All right. So, in conclusion, this has kind of been a bit of a waste of time. This tuk tuk, this tuk tuk ride. Oh, squirrel with a little bean in his mouth. Conclusion: This tuk tuk ride has been a bit of a waste of not a waste of, not a waste of time. It's been an experience, but it was definitely not necessary to do. We're going to see the Taj Mahal tomorrow anyway, so there was no need to come here really. I thought we were going to see sunset behind it, but the sun. Look, we've got a couple of hours until the sun, right? Till the sun goes down. The sun is there. The Taj Mahal is over there. There is no way that sun is getting from there round to there in in under two hours. There's no way. So it ain't sunset behind the Taj Mahal. <sighs> Maybe he was a language barrier there. Maybe he's an honest man. I thought he was going to be behind the Taj Mahal. Anyway, was definitely not necessary to do. And obviously once you've paid for, like the entrance to this is 300 each. The entrance to the other one is 310 each. And but it's nice gardens and stuff. But we're going to see the Taj Mahal tomorrow anyway. And before this, all we did was saw the prototype to the Taj Mahal. So we've kind of just wasted our time, really. I'm definitely not we going any... If we that time, we would have just sat in the hotel room. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we would have just sat in the hotel room doing nothing otherwise. Eight quid each for us to come out and do this. Not much, really, is it? Extortionate. It's not much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just comparing it with other things we've done in India. Like, oh, uh, should we just walk around in the gardens here for a bit? Yeah. All right. Well, we're just going to walk around the gardens here for a bit. I'll let you know how good the dinner is at the accommodation we're staying at. If you're thinking of coming here and need somewhere to stay that's reliable, safe, and authentic. 
that place definitely ticks all the boxes so far. Breakfast is meant to be very good. Obviously, I haven't tasted it yet. But yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Good night.